They called it Tyrannosaurus Rex. Today, it's mounted here. Well, some of it is. Because they didn't find a full dinosaur in 1908. What they found was the skull, most of the tail, the ribcage, pelvis, and most of the vertebrae. But the rest of what you're seeing here? It's man-made. And that's true for most dinosaur exhibits. When paleontologists uncover the bones of a dinosaur, they usually only find part of it, leaving them with a prehistoric puzzle full of missing pieces. Hey, what's going on? It's me, the host of the most important channel on the internet, Our Founding Liars. Here's what Vox forgot to state in that little video, okay? It was interesting, I admit. I admit it was an interesting video, however, it was uh, slightly infactual. Here's the real reason why they don't use the real uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex skull, okay? It would be a stupid move for humanity to use the real skull because we all know that T-Rexes are the original reptilian overlords, okay? They came right after the snake in the Garden of Eden. In fact, they were before the snake. Sorry, I didn't take theology classes, so I'm a little rusty, but I know that much. And uh, I have reason to believe that their brains, if untampered with, if they are unhurt, they remain in a sleeping state when the body, you know, fades. Therefore, if we were to connect the skull to the rest of the uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex skeleton, it could possibly uh, reactivate the brain. And uh, what will ensue is a new generation of tyrannical Tyrannosaurus Rex reptilian overlords for the modern day. We all know museums are government funded. This is a good way of having a reptilian defense program without telling people, you know, we dismantled the heads from the, you know, activation devices, which is the rest of the skeleton. And uh, yeah, you know, pretty, uh, Pretty, pretty important to know, if you ask me. Keep asking questions.